It is Billy the Beard with the Sports Profits, and I'm here to bring you a free game breakdown for Sunday, October the 8th, between the New York Giants and the Miami Dolphins. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Don't be shy. Get down in those comments. Let us know what you think about these game breakdowns. Give us an analysis. Don't just say, I disagree or I agree. Let us know why. If you like our content, show that support. Hit the like button. Most importantly, turn that notification bell so you're always informed. The New York Giants are going to travel to sunny Miami to face the high-flying Miami Dolphins offense this Sunday from Hard Rock Stadium. This kickoff is scheduled for 1 p.m. Eastern Standard. Giants are coming into this game with a 1-3 record. After dropping their second straight game, this time it was at home. They got defeated 24-3 the Seattle Seahawks. The Giants are off to a terrible start this season, and they're currently only averaging 11.5 points per game. That is good for 32nd in the league. They're averaging 158 passing yards. That's 32nd in the league. And they are putting up 94 rushing yards, which is good for 22nd in the league. So we have Danny Crimes, or, or Danny Dimes, or however you want to say it. He's been leading their offense. He has been had an offensive line that's been plagued with some injuries, so he's not getting any protection. Um, they, they, he might even be on pace to have a, a season sack record, so uh, I wish well for the guy. Jones is currently passing for 191.3 yards per game. He has two touchdowns, six interceptions. When you're looking at the other side of the ball, this defense isn't playing well either. They've allowed 30.5 points per game. They are allowing opponents to pass for 207.8 yards, 133.8 rush yards, and the quarterbacks are throwing a 62.2% completion rate against them. The Dolphins, on the other hand, they're coming into this game with a 3-1 record, fresh off a defeat against the Buffalo Bills to the tune of 48-20. Miami still is ranked first in points per game, 37.5 on average, uh, 334.3 passing yards per game. That's also good for first in the league. And they're averaging 176.8 rushing yards per game. They've only turned the ball over five times this season. Three picks, two fumbles. Defensively, the Dolphins are surrendering 29.8 points per game. That's 28th in the league. They have allowed 13 touchdowns this season. A fair split, seven from the pass, six from the rush. And they are surrendering 251 pass yards per game, 123.5 rush yards per game. This defense has recorded five turnovers. They have three fumbles, uh, two picks, and they've gotten a little bit of pressure. They have nine sacks that they've tallied up so far this season. This Giants team, they're just desperate to get a win, but they're going to face a Dolphin team that looks to bounce back from a division loss the last week against the Bills. The Dolphins, they should, they should um, handle this defense easy. They should drive this ball nonstop all game. And when you're looking at the speed that these receivers have, they're probably going to be open a lot. With the Giants only scoring 11.5 points per game, don't really see a way that these guys are going to do enough to cover the spread or even potentially win this game with the upset. This is going to be an easy wire-to-wire -wire blowout winner, Miami Dolphins. Right now, I'm seeing this line available 12 at points bet. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm taking the Miami Dolphins minus the 12 available at points bet. Lock it and clock it.